most concepts that we teach you in mathematics are very important. So you might be wondering that why do we learn quadratic equations? So these concepts are more applicable to engineers. We all drive or move on road that has been made by the engineers. And uh, I'm pretty sure each and everybody has made uh, an hump, those humps in the roads. So engineers use quadratic equations to come up with the concept of those uh, humps, okay? Because they form what we call parabolic shapes. So you're able to see those humps, the shape they form, it's called parabolic shapes. And that's where this concept of uh, quadratic equations come from okay now when solving quadratic equations there are about three methods that you can use you can use factorization let me just say more than three you can use factorization you can use quadratic formula you can use graphing you can use completing the square and our main focus here is to solve this quadratic equation using uh, completing the square. So we have to complete uh, the square, okay? The square, completing the square. This is the method we are going to use right here. So I'm kindly advising you to stick around, watch this video up to the end, Share and leave a comment in the comment section. If you've not yet subscribed, remember to do so. Okay. So now, when it comes to completing the square, there are just few concepts that you need. The first step here must be to get your B term. So the term which has got X here, that's a 7. So it just says 7. And then when you get it, divide by 2 always divide by 2 okay and if you're able to see here we've got 7 divided by a 2 and that's something that must be done always after dividing by 2 you say power 2 you square okay and you're getting 49 over 4 so this is what we've gotten 49 over 4 and when you get this 49 over 4, you are now going to add it to both sides. So we're going to say x power 2 plus 7x is equal to 49. Can you see what I've just done here? I've gotten these two terms with x to one side of the equation and the term without x to the other side of the equation. It was negative, it's now positive as it crosses the equal sign. And after that, we'll say x power 2 plus 7x. We now add 49 over 4. Have you seen what I've done here? I first got this one divided by 2 and then square. 7 squared, it's 49. 2 squared, it's a 4. So it will be 49 over 4. Okay? This is a concept. And once you do that, you add what you got right here to both sides. So it will be plus 49 over 4. Have you seen? I've added it to both sides of the equation. 49 over 4, 49 over 4. Okay? And when we simplify here, we're getting x power 2 plus, okay, x power 2 plus 7x plus 49 over 4, which is equal to. So when we say 40, 40, 49 plus 49 over 4, this, of course, is giving us a 240. Uh, 5, 245, like this, over 4. So to the people might be 
facing difficulties on how to add these two. So let me just show you how I did it, how to add these two. So what I did here was uh, I found the lowest common denominator, which is a 4. And then I said, right down here where there is 49, there is a 1. 1 into 4, it's a 4. And then you say 4 times, uh, times 49, it will give us uh, a 196. And then here, 4 into 4, 1. 1 times 49, that's a 49 plus 49. So when we add 196 plus 49, it's giving us a 245, which is right over here. And when we do that, you can now write this as a perfect square. So it will be like this. X, you write X, and then you come and say plus 7 over 2. Remember this point. So when you reach at this point, you now say x the variable that you are able to see. And then you get what is here, what is inside right here. So that's 7 over 2. And then here you say power 2 is equal to this side. We have a 245 over 4 like that. Okay. And once you do that, you now get rid of the square root. I mean the, the power 2 by introducing the square root, both sides. So this and this will cancel out. We shall remain with uh, uh, x plus 7 over 2, which is equal to plus or minus. When you find the square root of 245, this will just be a 7 square root over 5 over here a 2 so that's it so when you find that square root that's how it will be and you can say x is equal to okay 7 square root of 5 over 2 minus 7 over 2 that's one of the solutions so you just simplify further this will be 7 square root over 5 minus 7 over 2 so this is one of the solutions and if you want you can uh, you can round i mean you can factor out 7 like this so that you remain with uh, something like uh, this and if they said your answer must be put uh, or must be written in uh, two decimal places and in most cases that's what examiners say they say Put your answer in uh, two decimal places. This, of course, in two decimal places will be four. Okay, this will be four point thirty-three. Four point three three. That's in two decimal places. Okay, we find another solution. So for the other solution, you are going to say O oh, from this point. You say O. Oh, 7 square root of 5 over 2 minus, actually it will be negative here because uh, this one was positive. Remember here we've got positive or negative. So since here it was positive, the next one will be negative. And this guy will come this side. It will be minus 7 over a 2. And from here, of course, we've got a 2, negative 7 square root of 5 minus 7 and also if you want to factor out here you can leave your answer like this it still be the same and leaving this answer in uh, two decimal places it will of course be negative uh, 11 okay i hope this is what you're getting negative let me use black negative uh, 11.3 like this okay three like this this is our answer thank you so much for watching this has been sichamba jeko please remember to share the video subscribe if you've not yet done so and learn more with the professor right here bye, -bye.